<laughs> Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box at a Technical Trader at TechTrader.com. It's Monday, the 8th of August. This is the uh, Charts of the Day webinar, and um, it was a good day at TechTrader.com for our trades. Market wasn't so well today, but I can show you a bunch of charts that really look good. Swing AEH chart took off today and extended now up. Listen to this. 10 days in a row, folks, from about nine and three quarters to today's high at 18, nearly doubling in two weeks. Uh, coming out of that wedge with big volume was a trigger. It is overextended. Um, my target was 19, 19 and a half. And since we reached 18 today, I would caution everybody about how much further upside to be immediately before it does pull back and consolidate, but it looks pretty good. Bed, Bath & Beyond, you can see that spike up in the last week and a half, taking it from four and a half to 13.61 in just two weeks. Today's pop on 140 million shares, exploded it from 8.35 to 13.61, finished 13.37, or at least a trading there after hours, up five and a quarter, 65% gain today on monster volume. It is overbought and at resistance as well, but the momentum is very strong. BLUE in the junior biotech sector, looks like an inverse head and shoulder pattern may be being completed here. Here's your left shoulder and a right shoulder. At least this is a head complex or rounding bottom. This is the shoulder line. And if we punch through here, we might very well see a stock up in the eight, eight and a quarter range, my next momentum target. CGC uh, swing trade now exploding after breaking out today was a big day for it. 17.6 million shares, but more importantly, a pop that took it from 259 to 339. It closed or was trading 334 after hours up 65 cents, 24%. It looks like it's closing above the 50 day. That's the first time since way back here in March. We may have, in fact, turned the corner finally on CGC, we'll see. But if we did, we've gotten pretty close to nailing the bottom. That's a good one. DBD, um, another big day for that one, is it popped to as high as 5 and a 27 before pulling back. Close 482, up 33 cents, 7%. But you can see the momentum this has as the moving averages cross over. Now it's gone from early July low of 212 to today's high at 527, that's 150% in five weeks. And at this point, it looks like 6, 615 is your target. First Solar leading the solar group higher as it's the number one stock in that group has exploded in the last month from 60 to 114. Today's pump from 101 to 114, closing at 107 of 520, 5%. Um, took it out over everything except for the October, November um, action, which is the next target zone around low 120s. Fubo, also a long downtrend, followed by a base and a reversal yesterday. Today, a follow through, taking it through this double top, and now a target of 470 thereabout. GDRX, good RX holding, was got slammed this year from the uh, high 40s all the way down to 5.6 range. It's broke out with a, a big thrust today, going from 7 to 12.36 trading at 11.55 after hours, that's up 4.48 or 63%. A massive breakout through the declining top line, filling the gap and then some. A little bit of resistance just ahead here at about 14. If you get through that, you're looking at high teens. INBX swing trade doing great. Another pop off the low of 20.56 to get up to 25.19. Last 24.73 up 189 or 8.25%. Um, not a heavily traded stock, it's a junior biotech, but boy, does it have momentum. The fifth wave is underway. I will point out we're at the May, April, um, March, April uh, high resistance highs near 27. Uh, that would be your short term target. KRTX with major drug news today went ballistic and jumped from 143 to 245. That was up 103 points in one day today, 73% gain. And you can see the major breakout across two years of basing pattern could, could trigger this into the high twos, maybe even low threes. LABU, a very successful swing trade so far. This is more than tripled. And uh, from the 406 low on June 16th, uh, within less than a couple of months, it's gone from 406 to 1248, the high today being 1319. So more than tripling in the last 60 days. And yet, I think this is just the beginning of a much bigger move. Stay tuned, we'll find out. It has been up now for five days in a row, taking it from 765 to 1319, nearly doubling in just six days. So um, a little bit of upside, 
but 14 is going to be a tough cookie. If it pulls back and consolidates, it will be wave four. This looks like a one, two, three. If wave four happens and it consolidates over the next week or two, you might see next target at 17 and a half, believe it or not. MP, uh, swing trade working well. You can see how this has gone uh, dramatically from the pullback lows under 28 to today's high near 40. Oh, and um, the, my lateral price resistance up and next target is near 43. OST popped a week ago, pulled back, held the moving averages, and it popped big time again today from 213 to 349, finishing at 278, up 63 cents, a 29% gain. His volume picked up to nearly 19 million shares. If it gets through this double top area, your next target is near five. Junior Biotech PACB, which was a big mover and a big winner in 2020, uh, going up tenfold. Now, this stock, is, which got, was way up in the 50s, and had dropped down to four and it's coming out of the base this junior buy tech is flying today up 75 cents to 12 percent volume was 13 million uh, and it looks like it's a breakout day for it the next target has to be seven to three quarters rivian one of our swing trades a nice pop today jumping from 35 to 39.29 finishing 38 11 up 244 almost seven percent today and the highest level since april Next target is going to be about 42. Rhythm Pharmaceuticals, one of our best trades this year, has gone from the five range on a breakout, and that was just a month ago, to 24 and a half today, 24.44, finishing 21.40 after hours. Still fantastic move and a multiple percent gain winner for the tech traders. TAN, the ETF for the solar group, obviously popped the base, pulled back and wedge, and popped again today, reaching next resistance and target. Beyond here, my targets are 93 and a half and 103. TPIC swing trade broke out of the base and now it just keeps going. Um, it's moved from 10 to 21 in the last three weeks. The lateral price target was 23 and a half. That's your next target up. Beyond that, we, could, we might see a stock in the high 20s. VLTA coming out of a long term declining five wave decline, one, two, three, four, five wave declining channel, and then popped up today. We went through the May June highs. And now looking at the next target zone, probably about three and three quarters, and then five. New Wayfair, a new swing we put on today as it broke through the base pattern and is already taken out the declining top sign and moving averages are crap crossed over and are curling up. I have the next target at 80 and then 90. And finally, Zixi jumped another uh, 4% today, but more importantly, it went through some key resistance. It's probably headed to my next target around 11. As early as the next day or two. Once he gets through that, you can see a stock at 13, 14, 15. Those are my targets going forward for Zixi. And that's it tonight at thetechtrader.com. Some of the hot looking stocks that we're currently trading and swinging. Bye, everybody.